around Christmas we had a spotting of a Yeti heading toward the restroom here in our showroom. So we didn't weren't sure what to do, but we did catch him. So we decorated him. So here's how we made this using the Yeti Smart Bench. Okay, I pulled a um, full-size Yeti uh, image off of the web, uh, brought it into VCarve, and had the bitmap trace, and then saved the vector, sized it to be about six feet tall. And I'm going to cut it what's left over from this sheet of expanded PVC foam. Um, I did the Yeti face that was on the door, front door, and then there's a young guy here that was helping uh, his uncle and I cut a name tag for him, or the customer did. Uh, they get their machine next week and want to come by and get a little bit of training done. So uh, we machine's already set up. I'm going to open up the job. Big Yeti, G-code. Confirm that that's what it says there. It is. Looks good. I'm going to select the machine home because I, I want to start it here. I'm going to move it and pass where I need to be, bring it down this way. Drop the Z. I'm using a eighth inch uh, spiral O and I'm doing this in two passes. If you double tap on that, it goes until it stops. Um, I do it a lot more often than I mean to. I just meant to hold it down. But anyway, so this was foam board, so it poked through. That's all fine. I'm going to slow it down, bring it out a little bit. So I'll set that. I, I changed this to one millimeter increments, and then I'm just going to set that, change it back to infinity, and I am good to go. I've got this set up to run uh, two different passes. The first pass on the 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 swarf ends up melting on the on the uh, rest of the of the piece, but the second pass it cuts it away and cleans it. So if I did it all in one pass, it can work, but then I have to touch all the corners, all the perimeter parts, to uh, clean it. If I do it this way, I should be good. Now, because I have clamps on the end of the table there, which I don't usually use, I'm going to set it up and uh, look at the box, look at the perimeter, and then send it down that way and see if I have enough room. I think I shortened the drawing enough that I should have room for this, but if I don't, I'll take these off, screw through the tape, through the foam board into the uh, spool board. Yeah, we're fine. So I've got that much room left. I can't do this one-handed, really. There we go. Um, so I have several inches left, and I've got about a six-foot uh, Yeti to be cut out. Um, jobs loaded. The machine, I mean, the, 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 jobs, the jobs loaded. The material origin is set to here. Um, it'll cut all this off. And uh, we're good to go. It'll be two passes. Set it and go.